Okay, in this quick tutorial for new Blender users, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to work with hair effects within Blender. I mean, really easy. So I have a basic scene set up and just a sphere in the scene and some lights. I'm in texture mode and I'm using GLSL shading as if I bring this up here under display down here. I have this shading where it's normally set to multi-texture. Okay, so in here then for super simple effects, and just go down here to object and come up here to these quick effects. And maybe you've tried it, maybe not. So we'll just start with fur. So quick fur. But what really is fur? It just lays all these particles or these hair particles, essentially is what they are, on top of this object. And I can verify that by going over here to the particle button. And you can see up here it's changed this to hair because by default in the particle system it shows up as an emitter like this. So it added a hair, it had a hair particle system to the scene with this hair length. In fact, I could actually change this up, just grab this with my left mouse button and raise it up like this. And there it's hair. But it's not really doing anything, you know, fur wise, it looks fine. And then you can make all kinds of variations, but it's hair dynamics that really make it pretty cool. If you click this button right here, then suddenly this, this will have an animated effect. I'll show you. I'll just start this for a And this will just where I'm running all day, now all that ha hair is just falling down, right? So then you could do something simple like, you know, start here at keyframe, zero, press I, set a rotation keyframe, then maybe move up here to 170 and press R, Z to rotate it a few times like this. And then I'll press I, rotation again, and then I'll come back here to the beginning and I'll press Alt-A and run it. Well, that's maybe not fast enough. Well, you can start seeing it. You know, you can see it starting to splay out there at the bottom. So maybe I'll come up to this keyframe here. Up arrow and down arrow move to keyframes like this. So R, Z, I'm going to rotate it some more. And then press I again for, where's my rotation? And then maybe we'll see it here. It's got to reset itself. Here we go. And then you can see the effects. So you can do some pretty cool things in a very short period of time, right? And if you don't want to see that object on the inside here, you can just come over here to this, like this. I mean, there's numerous ways to do this, but you could just take the transparency and turn it off like that, deselect everything, and then run it. And then it's just this ball of fur winging around in the environment. So a lot of pretty cool things available in Blender to help you get started. And uh, then there's experimental hair rendering you can do within Blender Cycles these days too, which really helps it go a lot faster for rendering. All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.